This is an audio introduction to Michael Ho's film, Echoes from the Void, commissioned by Film and Video Umbrella. The introduction lasts just over a minute, and the film itself is 12 minutes long. It makes reference to the children's game of Chinese whispers, placing it within the context of the COVID-19 pandemic and the age of social media, where messages widely shared or indiscriminately forwarded can become distorted or detached from their original meaning. Set within a forest and a cave at night, the film's colours are so muted as to appear almost black and white. Only the faintest hint of colour can be gleamed, such as sage-green foliage and the sky which is muted blue, and from which a full moon casts an eerie light. There is a single character, Ho himself, who at times can be dimly made out in the forest's undergrowth, wearing a dark robe with long, wide sleeves, sometimes shouting out short phrases. Otherwise, the film is essentially abstract, as the landscape is gradually adorned with gleaming, opalescent pearls that drip down the walls of caves which Ho links to the echo chambers of the contemporary conspiracy theories. From a black screen, images emerge darkly, the canopies of trees in a woodland viewed from above. We draw closer, the undergrowth picked out by moonlight as if by frost, spiky blades of grass, the unfurled leaves of ferns making a thick blanket on the forest floor. Looking up through the canopy, a filigree of leaves and branches are silhouetted against the muted blue of a clear night sky. Grass sprouts around the base of tree trunks, a knotty tangle of undergrowth and saplings surrounding a patch of darkness suggests the mouth of a cave. We venture closer, passing vertical roots that dangle down muddy walls gouged from the earth. A shadowy figure just discernible cups his hands either side of his mouth. His words echo through the empty landscape, curdling like mist in the hollows. The mist exposes craggy boulders and rocks protruding from earthy walls. A pearl bounces down a channel between two stones. More pearls follow, coursing over crumbly earth, buffeted by protruding rocks on either side. And more. Like a marble run, but naturally occurring, they drop into a void. Framed by the ragged mouth of a cave, a slice of forest is bathed in ghostly silvered light. The static view is animated by mist rising from a hollow formed by a wall of cliff beyond the trees. Our view flips to the horizontal, the mist drifting from left to right. Then up against a rock face, smooth as bone but pitted with small holes. Slim lines of silver birch trunks fence in the mist their leaves a dark tracery against the white swirl. A figure can just be made out wading through this enchanted, enchanting forest, is there for a moment and gone. 
a dark niche in the rock from which pearls spill, finding their way out from within. 10, maybe 20, bounce out and skitter down the rock. Magnified, its surface takes on anatomical shapes, separated by deep fissures, recalling skeletons of ancestors long gone. The creeping mist fills in the cracks and bleaches the gaps between trees. Straight trunks of fir form a palisade around this misty hollow. One trunk slanted, braced by others in its fall. Mist fills the entrance to the cave. Carved into its sandstone wall, a deep crevice is curved like an ear down which a pearl drops. More dribble after, smooth, white and gleaming, they gush, bouncing down and down. Another flurry as the void seems to deepen. Another void, like an open throat, rock-ridged like cartilage. From it, mist exhales. And threads between a line of trees, close-spaced, only to retreat, hanging above spiked blades of grass through which the figure picks their way. The slice of forest viewed from the ragged mouth of the cave, formed by a shelf of rock resting over a sloping rock floor below. The mist steals across it. Moonlight highlights the leaves of the canopy. A distant pinprick of light draws our gaze. A beacon? Perhaps the moon? No, a pearl. One in a line of pearls now close, pooled on the ridges of rock. More pearls ping onto this rocky ridge, their source unseen. At pace now, they spring from ridge to ridge, finding their way down. Outside, a pearly glow highlights a path through the forest, winding its way from the hollow towards the trees. In amongst the trunks, the figure shrouded by mist. His heartfelt cry, met by a blank wall of trunks, wreathed by the cold breath of the mist. A shaft of moonlight pierces the entrance to a rocky shelf. Mist hangs in the air above its sculpted floor and gouged sides. Like a wraith, the mist hovers undisturbed. tumble onto a leaf-littered floor, a broad swathe continually joined by new arrivals, again their source unseen. They settle, perfect opalescent spheres clustered in darkness. Mist gathers at the mouth of the cave, blocking our view to the forest. Slowly, it dissipates, like the drawing back of a shower curtain, revealing a way out.
misty too. The pearls on the forest floor clumped amongst dried leaves and delicate living foliage, ivies and cyclamen ever more distinct as the mist clears. And up in the black of the night sky, a full moon, like a reflection of one of the pearls below, gleaming, glinting, opalescent. Trapped on their ridges, the pearls sprinkle the cave like droplets of water reflecting the light of the moon. Swirls of rock unadorned present whirls and eroded surfaces, more niches and voids where pearls can hide. Rugged, mysterious, vaulted niches, rough surfaces exposed by an irregular scattering of pearls. More pearls punctuate creeping plants that cling to the rock face. Pearls gather at its base, stopped in their tracks by leaves or by powdery earth. They glint like gems in a seam of rock. As the camera tracks back to the forest, the leaves of the trees seem dull without their miniature moons. A knotty tangle of undergrowth and saplings surrounding a patch of darkness suggests the mouth of a cave. We are drawn relentlessly in as if being sucked into a black hole. Water gushes down the cave walls. White capital letters read echoes from the void. Directed by Michael Ho. Supervising producer Stephen Bode, FVU. Director of photography Simon Thorpe. Editor David Spence. First assistant camera Joey Chang. Art director Jen O'Farrell. Composer Flora Yingwong. Sound design Matt Part. Sound recordist Jeffrey Pheasant. Colour by Filmshed. Digital Intermediate Producer Pat Wintersgill. Colorist Hannah Hunt. Production Accountant Sophie Luard, FVU Film and Video Umbrella. Audio Description written by Louise Fryer and read by Fern Lullum for Vocalize. In Memory of Xi'an Ho. Logos. FVU and Arts Council England, commissioned by Film and Video Umbrella, with thanks to M Art Foundation Hong Kong.